Our second presenter is Aditi Chowdhury, whose title is Prediction and Application of Linguistic Insights. Welcome. Who here has had to learn a new language, say for immigration purposes? Millions of people are learning new languages every single day for job, tourism, immigration. In fact, Duolingo, a popular language learning app, has shown that it can even help refugees to rebuild their lives. So clearly, there is a need for good learning materials and tools which people can have easy access to. And language learning is not only important for people to achieve their own goals, but it's also important for language as a whole to survive. For example, a recent report from UNESCO shows that there are 191 languages on the verge of extinction in India alone. And the reason for that? The primacy given to English as the medium of instruction in schools, which causes many local languages to be ignored. So why not simply add these languages to Duolingo? It's not as easy as one may think, because you need subject experts to come in, sit for days, maybe even months, to create the curriculum, find relevant examples. It's time consuming. And by the way, there are 7,000 such languages in the world today. And for some of these languages, the experts are even inaccessible. So in my PhD, I have explored techniques from machine learning, natural language processing, and even linguistics to help automate some of the processes of a curriculum extraction. Existing methods can already take some English sentences and identify basic linguistic information like what is a proper noun, what is a pronoun in that sentence. In my PhD, I have improved upon these methods to identify such basic information for potentially any language. So on the top, I have an example of Marathi, which is my native tongue. Now, this basic information of a proper noun, pronoun is useful, but is not sufficient because language is complex. You also need to know how to arrange the words appropriately, what if the speaker is of a different gender, how to modify the words. So for each such linguistic question, I formalize it into a machine learning task. I learn an algorithm for it and then extract rules which can help illustrate each phenomena. So each component of the curriculum is now automated to some extent. Now rules alone could get overwhelming, so I also extract automatically some illustrative examples to highlight each phenomena. And so each process is now completely automated, and in fact, this curriculum is now being tested in actual North American schools which teach Indian languages. So if you also give me text in your language, I can create a first pass curriculum for you. It won't be perfect, but it'll be a good start. And again, the whole goal is not to replace a teacher, but rather to assist them in their teaching process so that they can focus on the creative aspect of teaching. Um, that's all from my side, thank you.